searching the web, I went to the American Holocaust site, and there's an incredible section in that site about gay men and how they were persecuted by paragraph 175 that was written by the Nazis. The Nazis would put young men they'd caught in public places or whom had been named under stress by other gays into jail and when they came out they told them they hadn't been in there long enough and sent them back again. When they came out again they put them under the same kind of pressure and they got a choice be castrated or go back to jail. Lots of men took the castration option. The thing that really knocked me apart in this website was to discover that the gays were persecuted by everybody, not just by the Nazis, but by the people in the camps as well. They were considered to be the lowest of the low, and that is really horrible. And the Germans continued paragraph 175 in their legal system right through until 1969. And I learnt a name I want to share with the world, Richard Groon. And Richard Groon was a Bauhaus trained artist and after the war he did a huge suite of lithographs about the plight and the place of homosexuals in Nazi society, particularly in the concentration camps. And you can hear the choke in my throat, they are moving like I wouldn't believe. And in the belief that you have to proclaim somebody's name to make sure that their spirit lives, Richard Groon has taken a really, really important part on my altar and will stay there for the rest of my days uh, with a realisation that I haven't been involved in a major war. I haven't been involved with major persecution, although there's been some stuff that hasn't been really nice. And even though I had my balls chopped off and I have been pretty sick, AIDS has walked past me and I have to know against all those other people, Richard Groon and his contemporaries, I have been a very lucky man.